you know one of my favorite category of skincare products is hydrating toner. Mm, I just love it when it dives real deep into my skin, replenishes and refreshes my skin with lots of juicy hydration. So I'm really excited to share with you six new toners that I have been absolutely loving. Let's jump right into the video, give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, consider hitting subscribe anytime during this video, especially if you love hydrating toners just like I do. So the first one I want to share with you that you've actually requested me to try for a very long time and I've finally done it and yeah, it was love at first use. This is the Round Lab 1025 Dokdo Toner. What magic is in this bottle? I have no idea because I was not expecting much from this toner. I mean, honestly, it looks kind of boring, right? It looks very basic. When you look at the ingredients, nothing really jumps out at you. And then when you see the texture, it's like, yeah, okay. It's like a plain, watery, hydrating, kind of thin type of toner, right? wrong. That's where it really got me. And I was like, what's going on here? Because that's how it looks, but that's not how it feels. When you get it onto your skin, there's a fullness to this toner that you just you don't expect it really has a lot of hydration and it even has like a plump and juicy factor to it and you know friend of the channel james welsh sometimes calls toners like full fat water and that's really how i feel about this toner you know it does look watery but it has like a fullness a, a fattiness to it if you will that you're just not detecting by looks alone so when you get this onto your skin Wow, it really goes the extra mile. It goes a little bit deeper into your skin. It really hydrates it. It layers up like a dream because there's no stickiness to this. There's no tackiness or, or any kind of like heavy feeling on the skin. You could layer this up in the seven skin method easily. So it feels really refreshing, breathable and light, but with lots and lots of hydration. So this toner features glycerin and panthenol, which are basic but good for the skin. And you will see that this features seawater and that's really where the name of this toner is coming from because Dokdo is an island in Korea and they are using seawater from this area with lots and lots of minerals that are so good for the skin and in fact I've run across this especially in French pharmacy brands where they will use um, seawater for um, wound healing and for skin health because those minerals are just really good at helping to repair the skin and make it stronger. Another Another element to this toner that is a little bit more unique is the sugarcane extract here. Now sugarcane extract is a really good um, sugar molecule that hydrates the skin so it's lending to that juicy feel but it is also a very 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 underscore very gentle exfoliant. It's actually kind of a natural AHA. Now I don't want you to think that you're getting full on chemical exfoliation. That's not this toner but basically the sugarcane has the ability to just very gently encourage the dead the buildup of dead skin cells to um to go away to exfoliate away so it's very gentle do you know why i'm excited right like it's super hydrating it's got a great texture interesting on second look interesting ingredients and it's actually really affordable too. So I don't know why I slept on this toner for so long, but I'm in absolute love with it. So next up, I wanna share with you a new release from Benton. This is the Snail Bee Ultimate Toner. Oh yeah, my eyes went super big when I said that because you know the Snail Bee line is very special to me. It is, you know, one of my very first like deep loves in K-Beauty is I fell in love with the Benton Snail Bee Essence. And then I actually like for the longest time I had like only Benton products as my skincare routine because it served my skin so well. And the Snail Bee line, I mean, it's just such a beautiful mixture of snail secretion, which is great for hydrating the skin. It's great for wound repair. It's antibacterial. It's anti-inflammatory. And then the bee venom actually has like a soothing anti-redness, believe it or not, <laughs> effect on the skin with some well-aging benefits thrown in. So it was kind of like everything my skin was needing. And it was so good at like gently helping to soothe any type of breakouts that I had. So I've always been a fan of any real snail bee product from Benton. The ultimate 
penultimate line is like especially exciting because it's a nice evolution of that original o like the og snail bee line so what they've done is they fermented the snail and you know that that kind of brings out bigger and better benefits and um, they've added in lots and lots of peptides and that's exactly the formula that this toner follows it's the fermented snail with the bee venom and lots of collagen stimulating peptides like matrixyl tripeptide one and copper tripeptide one the texture here is like magic just like the round lab toner i'm getting that full fat water kind of feel thank you james for the term because those are exactly the words i'm searching for because this is just so different you know there's a little bit more body here than round lab but it still has that watery light layerable characteristic to it that's not sticky or tacky it doesn't build up thick on your skin i routinely will do like three layers of this toner it feels so hydrating but it never feels overwhelming on my skin so it's really nice and layerable it's a great texture but once it's inside of your skin it has like a plumping factor to it, it has like a a deep replenishing factor that feels really really great so I find the texture of this like something that I think will work for a lot of different skin types but what I really like about this I think that it's just a toner that goes the extra mile it adds additional benefits beyond just plumping and hydrating and feeling nice on the skin there's some willow bark extract in here and um, some witch hazel which are actually really good at helping to soothe pimples and um, that's kind of part of the original snail bee line is that it's always been very good at treating acne and breakouts in a very gentle way and I actually had been breaking out when I was using this toner my skin was just feeling like a little extra inflamed and a little bit more prone to pimples and this adding this into my routine of course I was using other stuff too this is like a booster product but adding this in seemed to really help like clarify my skin and soothe it and so it's like multiple benefits plus lots of hydration a fun texture i mean this could easily replace toner and essence save you time save you money save you steps in your skincare routine i think this is a hard working toner so next i want to talk about the goodall vegan rice milk toner and honestly this kind of sounds like something i would pour on my morning cereal <laughs> vegan rice milk right but this is such a fast fascinating toner I mean we really talked about some really fun textures this one is very very different it has a very cool effect on your skin making it really silky soft and conditioned so I would call this like a syrupy gel type of toner because it's really fun to just kind of like squeeze it out of the bottle and watch that kind of like runny viscous gel texture come out but it's not as thick as it looks like once you get it onto your skin it just kind of like bursts down in to deep hydration on the skin. This is actually, for being a slightly moisturizing toner, it has a lot of hydration too. It's kind of like a little hydration bomb in your skin. So you get that hydration effect. It absorbs in really quickly and very well. And then you get that moisturization, that balancing feel. It's not like oil. It's not like very emollient or greasy. There's not that cream element to this that you might've expected with the word milk. Um, it definitely has more of that balancing feel so it moisturizes and makes the skin feel comforted and soothed with a little bit of moisture but it's not overwhelming and greasy it doesn't feel thick on the skin it just feels comfortable and it leaves your skin so baby soft whoa there's some like magic happening at the top some trickery or something I don't know I don't even mean it in a negative way but I was like wow what happened to my skin it feels so soft and smooth and honestly that's the rice extract at play because rice has such a good benefit for conditioning the skin softening it making it feel silky and smooth rice naturally does that we have a good amount of rice in here rice is also like a great brightener for your complexion it has some great uh, vitamins and minerals too a little bit of antioxidant action happening in here there's algae in here too which definitely contributes to that moisturizing but balancing gel type of texture a lot of products i've used with algae have a similar kind of effect on the skin and we also have ceramide np for a little bit of barrier support the magic powers of this toner really come down 
down to the fact that it can moisturize and balance your skin without a greasy feel. Um, so it's been really great for this like early fall season for my skin particularly because it's actually still pretty warm during the day, like thanks climate change. But like it's still warm during the day, but it cools off quite a bit at night. And my skin is wanting just a little bit more moisture, but my skin is not wanting a lot more weight on the skin. And so that's where this toner really shines. And like I said, that's its superpower. It balances and comforts the skin. It's all comfort, all balance, and no grease. Next, I want to talk about the Tony Moly Tower Barrier Rebalancing Toner. Now, I actually included this in my top 10 prop list video from a couple of months ago. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But I did want to spend a little bit of time um, like dedicated to the toner in this video because I do think that it's something a little bit different and something special. And, you know, speaking of the current season and weather, it's a great kind of transitional season toner as well. So we have 83% of propolis extract plus honey in here and also some Saccharomyces ferment. And what I find really interesting about this toner that makes it different from some of the other propolis toners that I've tried, it does contain a derivative of vitamin C called ethyl ascorbic acid. So you're getting a little bit more extra brightening effect with the um, vitamin C derivative, but you're not getting like the irritation or the possible oxidization of the ingredient. It's stabilized. It's um, formulated really nicely within this toner to really help support propolis's benefits for giving your skin a beautiful glow. So the texture here, we're kind of building up in thickness, but it still has that watery quality to it with that body fullness, that juicy quality quality to it, um, but it's definitely something you could layer up if you wanted to. This is just not as thick as like your mind thinks it is. Cause like, I don't know, I was expecting like a thicker gel type of texture. It always blows my mind when propolis comes in thinner, lighter textures. And so this kind of blew my mind a little bit on the texture. It feels great. Um, it does hydrate and balance the skin. There's just a touch of moisture to this, but all in all, it is still definitely like squarely fitting into to the toner category of feeling really nice and breathable on the skin. The only thing I noticed about this, it's really not a deal breaker or even a big deal at all, but I know you expect me to be picky and tell you every single thing about a product. And so I will mention as it kind of absorbs and dries into the skin, you might get just a, a touch of tack. It's not even sticky. It's just a touch of tack. Something else I want to tell you about this toner, especially because, you know, a, a lot of us here are, uh, you know, sensitive skin folks, right? And so you always rely on me to bring you the details about gentle products. While this product and everything else in this video does not contain any essential essential oils or um, fragrance or fragrant compounds. This particular toner, as you saw on the ingredients, there's actually a lot of extracts. <laughs> it's kind of a long ingredients list. And all of those extracts are actually uh, contributing a natural smell to this toner. I was not expecting. It's, it's actually pleasant. It's kind of like a fruity floral kind of smell, um, but I wasn't expecting it for something that doesn't have straight up fragrance listed on the ingredients. So I wanted to point that one out. I've my sensitive skin has not had an issue with this, but you know what? It's always good to know. So the superpower of this toner is just all the benefits that you're getting. You're getting a lot of propolis in a light format. You're getting the derivative of vitamin C. You're getting the fermented ingredients. You're getting the honey. Like there's a lot to love about this toner. You know, much like the Benton toner with all the additional ingredients in here, you could easily use this as a toner and an essence. And because of all that good propolis, maybe even replace your serum. I mean, save yourself some time, especially Especially like in the morning. So that's the superpower of this particular product. It's jam packed full of like beneficial propolis and other goodies too. Next up, I want to talk about the V Green Mucin Essence Toner. Now I did actually do a sponsorship with the brand V Green um, back in August. Um, this is not sponsored. I do always like to bring that up, especially if I talk about a product like very soon after a sponsorship, just so you know where we stand. Um, I'm not I'm no longer sponsored by the brand. And a big reason why I took that sponsorship is because I love this product so much. It was really love at first, like Pat, if you know what I mean, um, because I love a good hydrating toner and that's exactly what this is. But the um, Nature Mucin is actually very, very interesting. It's also sometimes referred to as 
phytomucin. And this is actually a vegan alternative to snail secretion um, or snail mucin. So if you've ever been icked out by snail, like the Benton toner, you're like, I don't want to put anything that was like on a snail on my face. This is actually a um, plant mucin. It can be derived from different sources. With V Green, it's being derived from wild yam extract, and it is very promising. I actually recently saw some research that suggests that phytomucin is uh, able to help protect photo damaged skin. So you know, like when you age, you tend to get a little bit more sun damage on your skin. Uh, phytomucin can actually help reverse that, which is really exciting, really promising, and definitely making it a nice alternative to snail without the potential ick factor for some of us. So this texture is juicy. It's bouncy. It's got body yachty. Like it is the perfect texture. I love it so much. It's the perfect balance between that plump, like bouncy, juicy kind of texture, deep, deep, deep hydration, but it's not really thick. It really blows my mind because even looking at it in the bottle, I'm like, wow, I can see it's got a thickness to it. Like, is it going to overwhelm my skin? Am I going to be able to layer this up? You can totally layer this up. It has a watery, light, breathable feel. It's not sticky. It's never sticky. It's never even like a touch of tack. Like it just performs so, so well. You can layer this up, but honestly, it is so hydrating. It feels so like... If a, it fulfills everything your skin wants in one layer or two layers. And you know, my skin is greedy, it's thirsty, it wants all the layers, but like it really is so satisfied with just one or two layers of this. It is a hard working hydrating toner. It will go the extra mile with less product and with less layers and it's affordable. This is actually one of my favorite affordable toners currently. And um, I'm going through the bottle very fast. It looks really small, but it's lasting me a lot longer than other toners of this size just because I don't need that much. Like just like a little like quarter size amount on my palm and like my face is so, so satisfied. So it's definitely a high quality product with a really interesting um, ingredient but with a cool price tag, you know, hovering around the $12 mark. And shout out to the CeraVe Hydrating Toner. I've been talking about this all summer long, so you probably weren't surprised that this was in the video. My bottle's actually empty right now, um, but I'm gonna show you some throwback footage of me using it um, back in July because this toner, is good it is solid like i was not expecting much from this like look i love cerave but you know this whole video was made up of k beauty brands for a reason they know how to do hydrating toners they do it best other brands and other countries they're just starting to kind of catch on and so it's going to take them a while to catch up if you know what i mean but i have to say cerave i think nailed this formula i was really impressed with this nice watery, light, quickly absorbed texture. Now this doesn't have the body. It doesn't have the full, like the fullness to it. So it doesn't have like that special quality to the experience necessarily. But at the end of the day, you just want your toner to hydrate your skin, right? And this does it and does it very well. And because it's so light and watery and thin, you can actually layer this up onto your skin without building up um, heaviness. And there's never stickiness with this at all, which is nice. And I kind of like this as an option, like a lighter option to get that classic CeraVe formula, but without the heavier creams or lotions, because you're still getting all the ceramides, the cholesterol, the glycerin, the hyaluronic acid, the phytosphingosine, like literally all the best ingredients for your skin barrier in a much lighter format. And I have to applaud CeraVe for making this affordable too, because I'm finding their cream to be a little bit expensive these days. This toner, uh, 10, $12. I think it's very, very affordable. I think that's a great price for a great formula for a like no nonsense texture. Like my skin enjoyed it to the last drop. Literally my favorite skincare category is toners. So I'm curious, have you tried any new toners? Let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for new 
new ones, but I hope you enjoyed my reviews on these new to me toners. I have links to everything we talked about in the description box for easy browsing if you want to add some of these to your cart or to your wish list because there's some goodies in this video. And I hope the video did help you out. So if it did and you haven't hit subscribe yet, I would love it if you would just take a moment to hit subscribe before you take off. I do release a lot of new skincare content throughout the week, full length videos. I do shorts. I do it all. So um, please consider turning on notifications too so you're never out of the loop and you're always getting your skincare fix. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much.